Hello everyone, my name is Julie Zhong. I'm a certified elastic engineer. I'm working in Sweden. Today my topic is machine learning with elastic stack. The first question is why machine learning? Nowadays we are facing the challenge of dealing with huge data and IT security threats. That's difficult to handle everything manually. That's why we need machine learning, which can learn from data, identify patterns and anomalies, as well as make decisions with minimum human intervention. Why machine learning with elastic stack? Because with machine learning with in elastic stack, we can analyze the data stored in elastic stack. Together with search, aggregation, visualization, transformation, and alerting, we can make great use of the data. Do we need to be a data scientist to be able to handle machine learning? Luckily, the answer is no with Elastic Stack. As long as you know the requirement and target, the only thing you need to do is just a few clicks. Elastic Stack provides even a few tools to let you learn your data well. Here is an example to create a single metric task to detect anomalies and forecast. A single metric job contains a single detector, such as count, high count, low count, high mean, low mean, and so on. It can help to detect anomalies in the data by a machine learning model. It can help to forecast your data up to two weeks. The steps to create a single metric task is pretty simple. You pick up an index pattern and pick the time range and then select a detector, give it a name, then it can be created. As long as a job is created, you can visualize the result in a single metric viewer. It shows the anomalies and its scores. It enables you to zoom into a specified time range, create annotations, and create forecast. We can also create multiple metric job. A multiple metric job can be used to run multiple single metric jobs at the same time. The anomaly explorer is the default view for multi-metric jobs. It can break down the data into multi-metric views and provide a quick overview of the different influence. Population jobs can be used to detect outliers that the behavior is different from other entities in a specified population. We can also combine machine learning and transforms. Transforms enable you to convert existing elastic search indices into another summarized indices, which provide opportunity for new insights and analysis. For example, you can use transforms to private your data into entity-centric indices that summarize the behavior of the users and sectors and other entities in your data. Then we can use machine learning to analyze the behavior. Sounds easy? Okay, just take a minute to start a few try and build some machine learning jobs with Kibana sample data in Elastic, Stack, Elastic Cloud. In summary, machine learning with Elastic Stack is not just important for customers and their business. It's also one of most valuable technology skill set to advance our career. Thank you so much.